And now we've got some news about something that may be in your toothpaste. A dental hygienist in Arizona noticed something strange in the mouths of her patients. Stephanie Hockridge tells us about the controversial ingredient discovered in toothpaste and how the manufacturer is taking action. I didn't have any clue what it was. Trish Walvrin has seen lots of things as a dental hygienist, but until a few years ago, she had never seen anything like this. We thought it was maybe a uh, cleaning product or something that people were chewing. Little blue dots trapped in the tiny spaces between people's teeth and gums. Some weeks I'll see five or six patients. Walvrin started asking around and other hygienists were seeing it too. It took a while, but they finally figured out what it was. Polyester. It's a plastic used in all kinds of things, garbage containers, grocery bags, bulletproof vests, even knee replacements, and now in toothpaste. Walvrin says one brand appears to be using the plastic microbeads more than others. Pretty much everyone was saying that they were using some form of Crest toothpaste. Valley dentist Justin Phillips says the microbeads shouldn't be anywhere near your mouth. They'll trap bacteria in the gums, which leads to gingivitis. And over time, that infection moves from the gum into the bone that holds your teeth in. That becomes periodontal disease. And periodontal disease is scary. Walvrin wants the beads gone, too. She wrote a blog that's gotten national attention. It even caught the eye of Procter & Gamble. In a statement to ABC 15, the Crest manufacturer says, while the ingredient in question is completely safe, we understand there's a growing preference for us to remove the ingredient. So we will. Crest went on to say the majority of its toothpaste will be microbead free in six months. They'll be completely gone by March of 2016. Now, if you want to make sure the product that you're using is microbead free, take a look at the ingredient list. Make sure it does not include polyethylene.